Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <laughs> Team Liquids turn to ban. Dire team ban. Earth spirit. Dire team pick. Oracle. Team liquids turn to pick. We're here, we didn't go anywhere guys, we're back again. We play Season 3 Continues, this time EU West games as we rock ourselves straight on in to an Earth Spirit pick from Team Liquid, facing up against Wombat Gaming, and I'm not alone. I really want to speed through this as we are a little bit behind schedule, but Mopax is here to save me, keep me sane, and uh, maybe even take a draft and give his analytical insight to what the hell is going on. Alright, well, we got a couple interesting things right off the bat, which is pretty exciting. You know, we're, we're opening up here with a Broodmother band in the first phase, which is a little, you know, it's pretty unique. A lot of that gaming. Uh, clearly, just a hero they don't want to deal with, but. Uh, and I'm actually thinking about this myself. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a tangent. But anyway, so it's highly unlikely Liquid is ever going to pick Brood in the first phase, right? Can we agree on that? Uh huh. We can agree on that. So, but what they did was by getting rid of that brood now, it is a band you want to use later in the draft anyway, but by Ten putting it up here at this remaining. front thing, at uh, the front first bands, like the draft, it feels so heavily Five loaded right now in the remaining. first phase. So by taking that brood mother from your second phase band and bringing it into your first phase band, what that means Reserve is that being on the time. second pick, it's going to leave more of these top tier heroes open for them coming into that nice, you know, pick two, pick three moment for Wombat Gaming. Uh. And uh, Liquid, of course, yeah, they do get Earth Spirit, and then they get to pick another one, but let's say, like, they had a really nice pick through, thanks to the Broodmother band not taking out another one of those top two heroes, like, let's pretend that's a Death Prophet band. Then they have to take Oracle, and, you know, maybe they have an Aegis Prophet, but really you wanted someone like a Death Prophet, so I, I kind of like it. I think teams want to start to look to fill up those first few slots with kind of, the, kind of these, like, later two heroes you don't really want to pick, but you want better heroes anyway. Uh, it would see some more interesting me. draft strategy come out. Start seeing the no ban strat as well for people, maybe. Yeah, exactly. In the, in the near future. I was thinking like Huskar bands and all that stuff, but the Broodmother makes way more sense because you want to get rid of it eventually anyway. Yeah, well, Zeus taken out. Don't want Team Liquid having that global power of Thunder God's Wrath with the Nature's Wrath. It's uh, It's been a little bit annoying. Jurax does get his Earth Spirit, though. The overpowered Stone Man. I uh, I tilted No Tail earlier today in a ranked game. He, he you know, He's on his road to 8k, and he picked Ursa. He went into the Roche Pit level 1. He Dark. nearly had it. I stopped him from taking it, and Dark fair enough. He was with a dazzle and a shadow shaman in the pit, and they got they got level one Roshan two minutes in. You know, still sticking at level two. Uh, but I, I fed in the off lane as Earth Spirit. I was like zero five by seven minutes, something like that. They just destroyed me. But then I started kicking things around. You know, Earth Spirit is one of these heroes that you can make an impact, no matter how screwed you are from laning stage. If you can roam, if you can use like, like an Orb of Venom, just go run people down, charge towards them, Ten if you can throw your spells, remaining. you're still an incredibly annoying hero. And against squishies like Five Wombat Gaming have, the Oracle and Witch Doctor, sure enough, they've got Voodoo Restoration, they've got Purifying Flames, Reserve add time. in the Exorcism, which is going to heal the DP up. Time if you can get your Earth Spirit into these team fights, get the Stun Silence team combo in, Juggernaut and Furion can provide so much DPS, but Wombat Gaming kind of balance this out now. Hide Hunter. That ravage into these team fights and just give that bit of leeway, keeping your teammates alive. You know, not necessarily the aggressive ravage, but more of the shit we're in trouble ravage. I feel is going to come out of Wombat Gaming here. Yeah. Where, where's our revenge? She's not, she's not hanging out here today. No, All but lost, but uh, maybe a possible last pick there for Team Liquid. 
Wombat 1 to ban that out. She's a pretty solid hero. Uh, not necessarily the most common in the 5 role, but she's so good that I wouldn't be that surprised to go for it. But uh, I'm loving this Tide Hunter. I don't think, at least this patch, it doesn't look like they've Five taken it. Well, if they have, it's only been once. Uh, yeah, no, this will be the first time that Wombat have gone for it. So they're mixing up a little bit here, getting another Resolve offlane time. hero. Um, and we assume this will be the the uh, mind control on that nature's prophet as well so oh okay they're they're wary of this though they don't want any of this croaky you know nonsense that makes a lot of sense too we've been seeing plenty of shenanigans from him in the jungle these very greedy cores we even saw a legion commander come out um from someone yesterday i think it was in canada i think it was complexity did it they did a four role legion Okay, nice. All right, let's go. Oh, Shaq Turn Meepo. I was going to stop bringing this up in a second, but Shaq Meepo Invoker, two of his bigger heroes. Definitely a skilled little player. I think he's like six, uh, 7.5 KMMR. I can't see it right now, but yeah, he's he's a good lad. He's a good lad he is on one back Gaming. But we'll find out how he does against Huck, Juggernaut, Nature's Prophet, Earth Spirit, and now the final hero. Okay, all right. You ready for this? Kuroki on the... Ten seconds remaining. You go, you have Kuroki the Juggernaut, you jungle with it, and you take an Ember Spirit. Well, that's, that's why they banned out Lifesteal, you know? Kuroki's been yeah. playing that really nasty 4 roll Lifesteal, like, with the Iron Talon Midas Radiance by 20 minutes. Honestly, the Legion wouldn't even be that bad to still do that, but it'll be playing safe. Oh, let's see if you can steal some big Ravages. Kabat gonna be your offlaner in this game. Vino, not available, not around, so no Spirit Breaker for him. One back Gaming. Wonder what they're made of here up against Team Liquid. Only a best of one. Anything can happen, guys. Anything can happen. Wombat Gaming could win a game. They could beat Liquid. Only hear from my tone of voice that I'm definitely expecting that result to happen. Wombat are doing it. Wombat, let's see if they can do it. So Shaq, safe lane, Meepo. Death Prophet for Luft towards the mid. Rain and Y50. Oracle and Witch Doctor. I, uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the supports here from Wombat, though. Roaming wise, not great. Wish Doctor and Oracle, they're kind of static supports, you know, just hold down and hold down a defensive tri lane, stack and pull, control things that way. Yeah. Whereas Liquid, Earth Spirit, Rubik, you know, two of the better roaming supports out there, honestly. Cause a lot of problems here for well, one back gaming in the laning stage. Down to some really cool collected passive play, I think. Just get this Meepo up and running in the initial stages, while Team Liquid just gonna be farming Juggernaut away. It's an interesting little bit of synergy they're going to have here. So it's like I'm kind of looking at their draft and how these fights should be going off here. And uh, the Ravage going to be a pretty big setup here. You're going to be looking for a little bit of follow up there with the Nets and all that control through the Ravage as well as the bouncing cast. It could be enough for Lyft to really make an impact here on the Death Prophet. And uh, when you're concerned about that, you're looking for those heavy nukes. And Earth Spirit, he's an amazing hero, but if there is one thing, you know, he's got the control of the silences, so that might be one way that Jarex can help out in that case. But in terms of straight up nukes before, like, that exorcism comes out, it is at least one advantage that she's going to have over him with the heals and uh, everything staying coming from her spirit siphon, and trying to live through it. So that pressure will have to be uh, thrown onto the back of Fata here. And I mean, this is like one of his best heroes ever. A little old puck. We've been seeing a lot more puck recently. <laughs> Sure yeah, I, I just thought, I was thinking, it's the one hero he's probably never built a mech on. Can you check that for me, actually? I, yeah, I'm actually gonna have to check that. Begins. Because I'm not even sure that's true. I'd be inclined to agree with you, but it's Fatha, so you can never quite know. Never quite know. Hubs Ward up towards that pull camp off to the side, so Kabap. He did want to go for an Iron Talon, he's not going to be able to go efficiently. And Liquid will know exactly what's going on as Kuroki with his boots up at level one already he's waiting across in the trees maybe even looking for that first kill on the tide a roll on jerax they've got matoma man with a spin they've got a decent amount of you know slows and control here tide only having 600 hp this could be a little kill over on the tide hunter kuroki gonna walk forward just hit him a couple of times Helicanesis is there though and with a roll forward and they're still gonna give us a good old try and Kabat looks like he's dead the spin is enough damage to bring him down even with the anchor smash crew Fire Hunter's gonna be your first blood here and Earth Spirit picks it up Boots, there we go Boots and Orb of Venom This Earth Spirit's gonna be running around rampant on these lanes Ace, so squishy early on, Tide Hunter, one of those offlaners that doesn't show up with a stout shield, simply because you're going to be relying on Kraken Shell as you start leveling oh, up there. Fata, that he's missing the orb here. He, oh, oh that's gonna be close. Yeah, he's fine. Well, he orbed forward, jumped behind the DP, 
But this is against the Soul Siphon DP now. You can't really pull these moves off. He basically trades Salve and Fairy Fire for a Salve there of the DP. But uh, you look at the mana. Look at the mana expenditure here. Yeah. The Soul Siphon are so expensive for the Death Prophet that Fanta threw out one orb, ran away. You burnt through regen, sure enough, but it's the mana pool here that Death Prophet doesn't have anything left. So another scenario like that where Puck is able to get behind the DP. Puck can maybe even look for a kill there as Kebab realizes there's no creep camp for him here. He's got his Quelling Blade, but he has to stack up Ancients. Of course, he can't kill these off with his Iron Talon. Yeah, he won't be able to handle those for a long while. Oh, then he's probably TP. It's coming in. They see the Courier. Got it. Dyer's courier has hey, been Mind Control. Ow. Level 1 sees everything. There. Because in these situations, I'd say 90% of the time, maybe higher, it's a Sentry Ward blocking that camp, right? It's almost always a Sentry Ward placed yeah, exactly. in that camp to block you, it. You wouldn't have expected. You don't expect the vision being given by this Observer Ward, so Kebab, you know, it's not on him. That's just good play by Liquid and the Nature's Prophet seizing the opportunity as Fafta has his bottle already and mid. And you know what? I didn't even look at the creep score. It's something that I just put up. I didn't really pay attention to it for the first couple of minutes. And I've just seen that Fata is crushing this lane. He's even going to go in for a kill here onto Luft. Barry fires there, but there's another roll from Fata. He'll be able to get this kill and jump himself away to safety. A Radiant Courier dies as Oracle snipes that one out, but Jirax does the kill back onto it. Was that a bottle? That was Fata's was. bottle being delivered back. What a save by getting that with the Oracle. That's huge. Or else this puck was going to be snowball completely out of control, but it will be a little bit harder. And um, oh yeah, I did look it up there a while ago. And so the first, the first ever mech on puck that I could find was uh, it was actually crit. Kind of funny. It was way back in 2012, and he was playing with Unicorn. Remember that guy? Yeah, Unicorn XOXO. Uh, XO. Back on but, the old. Uh, other than that, there's only ever been eight, and Fata hasn't done it. So oh, there dear. you go, guys. Oh dear. Well, or, just... Solo did it before. Universe, Ice Ice Ice. There's some big names on there. I guess majority of the time it would come from like an offlane puck rather than the mid puck. Yeah. Well, Shaq up at top, his Meepo is farming away. 18 last hits, not too shabby. And Jerax is actually up here trying to leech experience. He can roll himself out of this one with a cask. Actually stopping the roll mid animation. He kicks the Oracle over to the side, but Earthcrit is dead. So enough nuke damage here from the double Meepos for Shaq to clean that one up. Oracle takes the last hit actually. Good takedown by Wombat Gaming. Luft is looking at the drain of the Phantom mid. He's got all been silent. He's gonna have to jump himself away. That Spirit Siphon, it does an extraordinary amount of damage that sometimes you just don't expect. Mind Control sneaks the bounty away from Kebab down at bot. He even gets a couple of hits in there. It's a bit of a predicament for the Death Prophet. And it's, a little, it's frustrating because you might think that she would have a decent chance in this lane if you went for some sort of a mix up in the skill build. Like maybe if you went for this silence that you can hold on to to not allow the puck to trade so heavily, but. It just seems like it's so disadvantageous for a Death Prophet to take that early point in silence with what you want to get done with the hero. That that little mix-up is just too much for any player to ever try. I don't think I've ever seen a Death Prophet try that. Oh, Jirax, can you roll away from this? It's a good kick and a no, not so good roll. It won't land the ensnare. The question is, does he die to Maledict here? I don't think he does. It looks like he's fine for now. That's it will tick down to 100 HP, but he keeps himself going. Still no TP rotations up the top, though. As the Radiant tier one is going to drop after the glyph. Mind control. He has been jungling for a fair amount of time, but he goes for the TP bot to trade out. Radiant's tier one in return. Dyer's bottom tower Back is just or resorting to jungling now. Fully Dyer's jungling. Screw that lane, guys. And yeah, no choice here. Uh, it'll get a little bit better. Chance that they'll probably just get both these towers, honestly. I don't think they have any sort of rotation that can come. Like, there's not going to be an exorcism here. Well, he is holding the point in case he needs it, so. But unlikely, no TP or anything like that. Just keep on going. Why oh, stop the train? Question is, these two supports on the dire side, what have they been up to? The answer is stacking caps. They've got Meepo, a couple of juicy stacks here. And if Meepo is able to clear through these, you know, get into his Aghanim Scepter, get into the Blink Dagger, he is one of the best core heroes, one of the best safe lane or mid heroes at controlling the tempo of a game. Farming lanes, pushing. But also getting into these bigger items, the Axe plus Blink, then the Hex, getting the solo kills onto heroes like Juggernaut. Because you look at the Jug, sure, he's getting farmed. He's getting a ton of gold, he's got plenty of levels. He's, uh, he's level 6 now. But as the game progresses, you know, he's going to get bigger and bigger. He's going to get to that point where he's 
20k net worth at 30 minutes. He's going to look pretty juicy with the Battle Fury S and Y. If the Meepo comes along and says, you know what? My hex completely counters you. This yeah. Meepo can just take one hero out of the game completely in an instant. That's the thing that you've really got to look out for. As Liquid, they're trying to limit where Shaq's Meepo can go by taking the entirety of the bot lane, tier 1, tier 2, and now looking for tier 1 mid. They just want control of the enemy jungle. This entire swathe of land, they just want all of it as Luft has walked straight on into this. He's going to try and TP away, but the damage output with the telekinesis. It's all going to be coming up liquid here. <laughs> I like this from a dumb man too. He just spins out the wave. He's like, look, there's no way they're contesting. Let's just deep thing down. Not risk any sort of rotation here. There's not even level 6 yet on Kabop. No surprise. Not exactly anything he can really do. The way that his laning phase has pulled out. Fata top lane, it's the last remnants of a DD, but without the dream coil. Boy. Pull up the projectile, guys. Oh, 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 it's flying. Let me zoom out more. It's still flying. Come on, I need to keep I need to keep track of this puck projectile. Nothing else is happening on the map. We're gonna find it. Where's it gone? It's gone. It disappeared. Radiance bottom tower is under it disappeared. attack. It, 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 it no longer exists. It's gone. Oh well, what a shame. Perhaps That's they're gonna nice. get, get his bottle refilled by Jerax. What a balanced thing that is. But, oh, Spirit, up to level 5. He's taken up top lane, got some experience, he's got his arcanes, and he's actually beating Tidehunter from the 4 roll. Scary stuff. Scary times ahead for Wombat Gaming. Do have the Death Prophet still. 403 in the build. To get Exorcism. I guess you just want to keep the Ghosts at bay until you have the big Ravage from Tide. He's just popped level 5. Another level in him. It's been good to take these stacks out in the jungle from Shaq just to help out the tide get these levels up. Yeah, this is uh, this is a really tough lineup to make a big comeback with um, from Wombat. You really need a Ravage, you really just need a massive, I would say, fortunate play. Like, you're not going to have a Blink Dagger, obviously, so it's going to take a little bit of an overcommitment from Liquid, possibly diving. Like, let's say you're going after that Death Prophet, she's getting low and... They kind of need that dream scenario where they're diving her really deep just at the end of Exorcism. She heals up, turns on them, and then the Ravage Dyer comes in. Other than that, this this looks tired. Fafa has a blink. Eight and a half yeah. minutes in, Brown Boots bottle blink, and he's going to run himself up towards this top lane where the contest, Wombat Gaming, are grouping Dyer's up to try and fight this. Even before Tide has the Ravage, maybe if they can get a little pick here on Matumu Man. Nope, TP out. Matu looking for the Omni Slash. And with, oh, it's a TP forward, not a TP out. Mike the Cole went behind the DP with a spin down from the Thumb Man. He's got 10 stick charges to try and turn this with a good Omni Slash. And I think he's going to go straight onto the Death Prophet. Picks her out. Three heroes grouped up here from Wombat Gaming. Look at them. He's just taking down the Witch Doctor alone and found the perfect placement with the Dream Coil on four. Jumps forward to kill the Witch Doctor at the back. And Shaq, he can't even get a kill. It's a triple for Fata and five dead for Wombat Gaming. Well, More packs. Kind of expected to happen. Uh, they they tried to make Dyer's some sort of play, but without the Ravage. Uh, Tynander does nothing right now. It's not his fault. It's the lane, but there's really not much else he can do. Should I just observe and cast this game from like first person perspective of Juggernaut or something? That was pretty intense. That was a pretty insane crit. Just follow Jug. He's got a nice sword, actually. What is that sword? I want one. Blackened Edge of the Blade Keeper. Nice. Got a fancy spin icon and everything. I think I went on me. He doesn't even care. Like, yeah, what up? I've got a puck. Turn around. Time to fight. Let's kill you all. Spin through. And he doesn't even care about this Luft Death Prophet because it all spirits here. Death Prophet. See ya, buddy. Shaq, try and run. Well, try and kick. hide. I don't think he can. There we go. Try and get the kick. He's got the silence instead. Jirak. Two seconds until he punches Shaq down. Not quite fast enough. Alright, well, there's, you know, he lived. But, I thought, look, he's not giving up. He's getting drinks all the time if he really wants it. That way. Here I am. This will be another on Puck game, I'm certain. I mean, it's there's a really game. no point going for Yules. Is the game going to last that long? There's no glyph for Wombat Gaming, and they are losing racks 10 minutes in. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Ah, Tide Hunter is not level 6 yet. Mind Control's getting stunned up a decent amount by the cast bouncing through, but Shaq, he went aggressively for the net. to so try and push himself sense. away, but look at the Earth Spirit. Start done. They've picked up the Oracle, and they're just going to go clear up more. Juggernaut's taking out Kabath. Look, what's he away from this? 
just about on the edge of that snap distance. 11 minutes, and your first Rax is gone. There's a smoke from Luff. Exorcism hasn't been used... Well, no, it was used top, right? It was used top. Yeah, they used to stop. Puck is getting it orchid. Yeah, GG. Aw, I wanted to see a Puck orchid. But some of them, you're dropping all your items. Not like this. Not like this. Alright. That was a game, I guess. Kinda. Darker, how does it feel to be the highest paid Dota 2 casters by the hour? Oh, that's a that's a pretty ju <laughs> actually no because I, I get paid a yearly wage. Oh yeah. So it's irrelevant to me. But for you, for you, what is that like? Six 